Melvin Ingram stepping up to the podium now, guys. All right, Melvin, can you hear us okay? Yes, I can. All right, we'll kick it off with Adam Teicher. Go ahead, Adam. Hey, Melvin. Um, you seem to have fit in real well here since you've been here. And we're just curious. A lot of times you don't see that with guys who come in in the middle of the season. Just curious if there's anything you feel like you said or did to kind of help you fee, uh, fit in here once you got here. Uh, just came in and bought in, just buying into what they already had going on. That's the that's the best way you can fit into anything. Don't try to come in and do your own thing and don't try to come and be somebody else. Just buy into what they got going on and, and, and come in and do what they need you to do. Let's go next to Pete Sweeney. Go ahead, Pete. Hey, Melvin, uh, congrats on the, the win. I, I was just curious, coming off that and, and just being here, kind of what Adam said, I, I, I'm not sure when we'll get you again. How, how much desire do you have to maybe remain a Kansas City Chief past this year? Uh, I, I definitely got a lot of desire, but that, that's, that's looking too far ahead in the future. I ain't never been a person that looked far in the future. I'm just focused on the task we got at hand right now, man, and that's trying to win another playoff game and taking it step by step, day by day and game by game. So I, I'm, I'm focused on what we got going on now. I ain't really looking into the future. Let's go next to Greg Eklund. Go ahead, Greg. Hello, Melvin. Uh, along those lines, I know you don't want to focus on the future, but in regards to your recent past, um, what, what's your degree of satisfaction with uh, winning the toy, uh, coin toss in L.A. against your old team there in a big overtime victory, then beating an opponent twice that you're familiar with? Uh, to be honest, I ain't really thought about it. That ain't, it ain't nothing big. We are, I came here to try to win a Super Bowl, and, and that's what my goals are set on. Beating them, that, 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 that wasn't a goal I had. It was another team on the schedule we were trying to get a win, but I never put too much emphasis on it. Let's go next to Miss Karen Kornacki. Go ahead, Karen. Hi, Melvin. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing great. Good yes, to talk to you. Yes, ma'am. Wanted to ask you about facing Josh Allen, you know, coming off that game he had, his running ability. What is the biggest concern or the biggest con that as a defense you guys have to watch when you've got a mobile quarterback like that plus a bunch of weapons? Man, he's one of the elite quarterbacks in this league, and 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 you got to try to cancel out every phase, and you got to play assignment in football with him because when you got a quarterback that can run, that can throw, that can do everything, you just got to play assignment in football, not try to do too much. Let's go next to Seren Petro. Go ahead, Seren. Uh, Melvin, now that you've had some time uh, to be around Steve Spagnuolo, I'm I'm just curious. You know, we've had a couple of people describe him, you know, and, and what they think of him. How, how would you describe him as a as a coach? Not, not necessarily as X's and O's, but just as a guy and how he is as a leader. Uh, I think he's a great leader. I think he, he he's a great coach. And and I think most of all, he's a players coach. He he understands how to relate to players and and, and 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 how to be there for players. And that's what I think is so good about him. Like he he's definitely always in there no matter what's going on. Even in practice, he's always right there, hands on with you. So that make him a great coach. Got time for two more. We'll go Todd and then Steve. Go ahead, Todd. Uh, hey, Melvin. Appreciate the time. Um, What's up, I know, you, I know you didn't play in the, the week five matchup with the Bills, but I wonder, is there a sense in that defensive room this week that, that you guys kind of owe them one? And what do you think you can add this time around that was missing when you weren't on the team week five? Uh, I wouldn't say there's a sense of we owe them one. No, we're just trying to go out and win a playoff game to try to accomplish what we set out to do. And, and, and me, I'm going to just try to go out there and, 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 and be a piece to the puzzle, try to go out there and play assignment football and get another victory. And last to Steve Walls. Go ahead, Steve. Hey, Melvin. What's happening, man? What's up, boss? Not much. Uh, Steve Spagnuolo said that, that uh, he, he, he can tell that you love the game of football, but I want to ask you more about the mentorship aspect of it uh, and being around the young guys in, in that room, man. Uh, what does that mean to you as far as, you know, teaching the guys uh, the game? Uh, it, it means a lot. I wouldn't say I'm teaching nobody the game. I feel like when you when you in a room and when you at this this level of football, everybody is learning from each other. It ain't nobody just really just teaching somebody. It's everybody learning from each other and all of us learning from the coach. So being with the young guys has been great. Like we got some we got some elite young guys here, and 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 they got a chance to be very special, which which helps any team that they own and this team that we own that they're on. So. So it's definitely been a blessing to be in that room with those guys and, and, and have an opportunity to, to, to kind of show them some of the things I learned and try to learn from them some of the things they learned. So it, it's definitely dope. Melvin, we appreciate the time. Thanks for joining us. Yes, sir.
All right, guys, we're going to go track down Tyreek. 